Okay, here's the deal. It's a nice day for flying. We have the 747 Queen of the Skies ready to go, cleared for takeoff. But have you been like this? We've got problems. We have messages over here we need to clear and take a look at our PDF. No V speeds. Let's go through how you can fix some of those things. So let's get to work at it right now. Let's see, electrical generator is off, so let's go into our overhead display. Here's our generator field, and these look like the culprits right here. Click those, that should fix that problem. Let's take a look. Yeah, it did. Got rid of the problem with the generators. Now, fuel pump 3. Oh, it looks like here for fuel pump 3. Now notice though, when we take a look at fuel pump 3, that did not get rid of the problem. It does not get rid of the problem. Now if you go down a little further, you see we have an electrical utility bus. There's a problem with that, so we're over and fine. Here's our utility bus. That's off. Now that we've cleared that, go back and try to clear the fuel pump problem. Okay, that takes care of his gun. Let's look at bleed off engine 2. You look here at engine bleed, we see that engine 2 bleed is on. Or off, we'll turn it on. Now, what's the next problem? Hydraulic. Oh, yes, to the man pump there. This pump should be set to auto, was set to auxiliary for engine start. That just leaves the dampers, so that should be easy to fix. We'll set those. Oh man, it's looking good. Now packs one and three are off. Yeah, why not turn those on? Those were in white, so those were information messages, but we'll turn packs one and three on also. So that should clear just about everything. The set parking brake, we'll release that. Well, let's release that now. Our big problem is over here, though, we have no V speeds, and the primary flight display and the navigational display have not really come to life. Take care of that. Let's go into the FMC. Our reference airport, I'm here at Pageville and Fort Myers, so K F M Y. Let's set that for the reference airport. Now let's let's go into the menu. I'm actually going to go into A cars. Initialize this. Give it any flight number that you want to. I'll give it X one two three. Press here to enter that. Now I'm going to tell it I'm going from Fort Myers K F M Y slash giving the arrival or destination. I'll make that also K F M Y. And now I'll press here to enter that. Okay to get out of A cause press return, then menu, then log out of A cause. Now we go back into our FMC and let's go ahead and get the RS going. So let's turn each one of these to navigate and turn it to a line. We can see that it indicates about one minute to get things aligned here. Go back to our FMC. All right, let's clear the message that just came out. I'll press here to put our position in the buffer, then press here to actually enter it. Okay, now let's proceed. Route, I'm not going to do anything for routing. Performance initialization, we need to have information here about fuel load in order to calculate V speeds. And I'm going to, I won't put anything for reserve just go right on over to takeoff. In order to calculate V speeds it needs to know our flaps, what position our flaps 
will have. I'll clear this message out and put 20 in for the flap setting. Now it's calculated all of these speeds. Let's press here to accept, accept, accept the V speeds. And now we press here. This will calculate our trim. We should use a 4.9 trim. Okay, so we have V speeds have come to life, but we still do not have the PDF, uh, PFD, and the navigational display are not active. So let's go and turn each one of the uh, turn the RS each one of these units to navigate. Now let's go back into the FMC then. Still don't have anything. Let's go position it net. And let's try again to put it in position. And okay, that got it. Now the primary flight display and the navigational display are active. And we have our V speeds. Okay, what I'm going to do is start getting the flaps going. We'll set it up for flaps 20. Parking brake is released and as soon as the flaps extend fully out to the setting of 20, I'll go ahead and attempt to take off from Page Field in Florida with a 747. Here's a view of the plane. I think I'll go ahead and set auto throttle. So we'll make this an auto throttle takeoff. If you do not know about this technique, let me explain it here. If you press at this little location, if you press here, if you click here, then it will engage the auto throttle for takeoff. Let's do that now. Here we go. You can see our V speeds are set. Our V speeds are set. Enjoy flying and thanks for watching.